Well, 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 it looks like the holidays came early this year with some of the biggest shows and movies premiering just before this Turkey Day weekend. Mm -hmm. So while the drama ramps up in L.A., mm. one royal monarchy takes its final on-screen bow and a mm. highly successful media titan gives fans a sneak peek into his childhood. Oh, right. And of course, we know just the guy who's going to break it all down for us. You know what? I'm feeling some kind of way because he always looks so good. He does. And, and so does his husband. I Please know. welcome, without any further ado, friend of the show, entertainment correspondent, fashionista extraordinaire, <laughs> David Correa. Thank you. In the monochromatic olive look today. I was going to say. I just, I just was feeling like a folly vibe. We are I giving, love a monochrome moment. We, we are, are giving. Turkey Day vibes, like a muted wow. red, a muted blue, We're a like muted green. Thanksgiving's okay. Destiny's Child. <laughs> Put that in my Instagram. Bio. Put that on my tombstone. <laughs> was uh, once known as Thanksgiving <laughs> Destiny's Child. First and foremost, what is everybody watching right now? Because I, I feel like all I do is scream about this from the, the soapbox. Yeah. It's I can only handle one show at a time at this point in my my yeah. busy schedule. But I am into. I haven't watched the season finale. It was oh. this past Friday. Goosebumps. The revamped version. Oh, so it's so good. good. Yeah. It is so, so good. It's so much fun. It's just scary enough. Yes, just I also scary am enough. not fully up to speed, I will have to admit. Okay. I'm so not don't. caught up. But you are up to speed. Because you are David. I, he is I, David up to speed. Yes. I've been screaming for the mountaintops, lessons in chemistry. Yeah. It, based on the book. Yes, which I have yet to read, so, it's so don't good. spoil anything. You guys, it's do yourselves a favor. What are you watching right now? I'm watching, well, I watch everything. I know you do. It's part of your job. Right. <laughs> and it's a fun thing to do. Yeah. I am, I just finished binging Selling Sunset. Oh, oh boy, snap. Season seven, Selling Sunset. I mean, if you're getting ready for this weekend, grab a blanket, grab a piece of couch, grab some leftovers, and dig in. It is fantastic. Really? Wow, everyone is very attractive. These on girls this. are so hot. I can't show. get over it. It is like Real Housewives Mary. meets uh, House Hunters. Okay. I will say, I don't know how people this beautiful and this rich can mm -hmm. be so upset all the time, but it's mm. entertaining. More money, more problems. It. That's how. Well, you know, being upset is relative. It's relative mm -hmm. to who you are. Right. And, you know, they're getting up. They, their problems are champagne problems. Ex champagne exactly. problems. Who said that? <laughs> Who dimes that for us? I don't know, but I said that the other day. I said, these are champagne problems in the grand scheme of things. Yes. Better to have champagne problems. Yeah. So it's, that's your show. You I love, love it. It's a great binge. It's great for this weekend to like cuddle up and just barrel through it. Season and you seven can on dream, Netflix. You can, a girl can dream. The, the homes on this program. Oh. How many seasons? Seven. 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 Well, they're doing something, right? You'll just have to decide if you're Team Chriselle after the season or not. Which, who are you? You know. I've always been Team Chriselle, okay. but I, I'm You'd, doing a little oh, bit of this. Oh. Is there I, somebody, to, is it Chriselle versus fill in the blank? Or? Yeah, well, any blank. Chriselle versus oh, everybody. Oh, she's turned she into the, 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 when I was still watching the show, was Christine was the bad guy. Well, she's not the bad guy, but she's, she's in her don't mess with me era. Okay, okay. I'm Team Chriselle. She gets a famous right. boo thing, you know, she yeah. thinks who she is. Talk to us about Tyler Perry. Oh, boy. Everything this man touches turns gold. to gold. Oh. He went from a playwright to a Hollywood mogul. If you're watching this one, you have to, I said grab your leftovers before, mm -hmm. grab a tissue box oh, and grab a notebook because you're going to be crying and you're going to be taking notes. It is a master class. Oh, is this a documentary? It is a documentary on his life. It's called Maxine's Baby. His mother's name was Maxine. And it is gut-wrenching oh and oh inspirational. Gosh. And it made me, I'm going home tonight to see my family, and I'm going to hug Aww. my mom so tight. And she's going to be like, oh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay. It, it is I like fantastic. That. I like that he did that. Yeah. yeah. The full journey from writing plays to opening up the first ever fully owned by an African-American male mm -hmm. film studio in Atlanta. Beautiful. It is, it's such an incredible story. I was so moved. It is two hours and some odd minutes, and I was like stuck on that screen the okay. whole time. All Definitely right. watch it. I love a peek behind the curtain of somebody Prime video. like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up. We are talking about Rustin. What's this? Rustin is on Netflix, starring Coleman Domingo, who you may know from Euphoria, or oh. coming up in The Color Purple, the musical oh, adaptation. Yeah. He is tremendous. He plays Bayard Rustin. Bayard Rustin is 
a civil rights activist okay. who in 1963 led the March on Washington from behind the <clears throat> scenes because he was also an openly gay man. Oh, wow. wow. And he had to take a back seat for all the work that he did, as oh, so many sure. queer people huh. in that time period had to do. But he had the support of people like Dr. Martin Luther King, wow, who helped him push his message across. He really was the driving force behind the March on Washington. There's some heavy hitters in this and film. Yeah, wow. we have Chris Rock, we have Audra McDonald in this film. It, it also, extremely moving, yeah. extremely motivational. It's the story of someone who, against all odds, said, I'm still gonna do it. That's right. Oh, God and bless. Someone, we need that. I, Sounds she, like another tearjerker. She yeah. really did not know who this person was. No, me so neither. I am glad that He's you are someone that's been lost I was just gonna history. say, why are we just now getting his story? This is crazy. Because David no. is here. Because David's here. To, um, now, moving right along, because there's so much, part one of The Crown, the final season, is I, out. I'm You're very, a fan. Am I a f I practice genuflecting. <laughs> I, 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 you have to genuflect when you You also have the, to walk what? in, fo you can't walk out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. your back to her? Oh, I've also so. practiced that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. The crown. <laughs> so this is the last season. It's the last broken season. Broken up into two parts. Yep. That so. woman's always going to be the mean pink lady from Harry Potter to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what her name is, but I don't like her. <laughs> Sorry. I just got to squirrel. She's she got a lot of range, though, I'll tell you what. She, yeah. she, she, she does her thing in this one. All right, so where are we in, in their life? We, Diana is, they're yeah. divorced. Diana is divorced. We open this, I'm not, I don't want to ruin anything for anyone, but we just open it 1997, the year that Diana passes away. Oh, we're in it. We're in Huge. it. Okay. And it is, it is Gut really wrenching. hard to watch. Okay. Oh, gosh. Especially if you remember that yep. time yeah. period. And you're in the, in some of the episodes, so four, Episodes have dropped. The last five will drop on December 14th. Okay. But in these four episodes, you are just, you're with Diana as she's being chased. And it's the one time in my life that I said I did not want to be a princess. I was like, oh my how, God. Yeah. how, interesting. how did I get through this? Hmm. It's an interesting perspective. That's Listen, sure. I know the creators have taken liberties with the with the script yeah. and people, you know, I still love watching it, and yeah. I will be fully engaged. I gotta watch from the beginning. I, I started the first season, I never finished. I wanna go back to that and then get The next show is Your Gal. Who oh I think, my I God. Think, I think she should play you in the movie of Yipik, this actress. Who's directing, <laughs> producing, and me doing that film? Who are you paying for it to? Hannah Waddingham. Okay. And it should be a musical. Thank you. Love my dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> so Hannah Waddingham is, is hosting her own musical review this. for the holidays. It comes out tomorrow <laughs> on Apple TV Plus. So if you are basting your turkey or making your mac and Tell cheese, me that's not it's the Alex best Lee. Thing Tell to me have. that is not the most gorgeous human being you've ever seen. That's I mean, Alex she Lee. She is a specimen. Look at this. Look and this. so talented. Yeah. We, you, I know her from Ted Lasso. Yes, yeah, same. And That's she had a show. few singing episodes, but now we're getting this the whole the whole, the whole shebang. Treat. And you're getting Ted Lasso stars I joining can't her. Believe they're all, I got like, literally it's everyone. so it's. I got a sneak peek of this one. It is so good. The best classic Christmas songs you want to see and hear. She, I mean, she sang on Ted Lasso. Yeah. Yes. She sang. She, on this. she sang on this. Okay, it I love it. It is so good. More surprise guests. Okay. Oh, she's oh right I there. love her. Love, love, love. Oh my God, I love that dynamic and that relationship. Well, all right. Well, this is what my family and I will be doing this weekend. I already know it. I You've done it again. Know it. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm uh, so excited for the holidays now. Thank you, Daddy. Me too. Of Happy course. Thanksgiving. Likewise. Come Maybe back I'll in, see you in Connecticut. Maybe we'll Maybe. hang out in Connecticut. Mm, Don't Kiki be a in Connecticut. Jay Gloss. Sounds like a lifetime movie. <laughs> <laughs> Follow David on social media and David up to speed. There he is. Mm -hmm. Perfect.